In our second behind the scenes piece, we profile two camera operators, Sipos Tole and Andrew Harris. Sipos' roots in camera work go back to his time filming at church as a youth before starting as a trainee at Supersport. As I was from church, joining Supersport on an internship, I was still full-time with Rima, and then I was still training with uh, Supersport for outside broadcast camera. And we started in a very low key, I'll tell you this, everyone wanted to work for Supersport. I uh, saw so it as an opportunity, and coming from the Christian background and into, into broadcast, that was a very a good thing for me, you know. And I started as a cable basher, you know, a week I'll work a day, I'll we'll do camera work, boxing, you know and uh, it was a good break for me. Andrew has been a camera operator with Supersport for nearly two decades, but his start was a more fortuitous one. It was actually quite a funny story. I was working on a, a horse racing production uh, for SABC when, um, and there was a, a, a Sharks rugby match going on at Kings Park and Mnet were short of a cameraman and they asked, please, could I uh, quickly go over there and, that was my first experience working for, for Mnet um, and it's actually been awesome since then. Uh. Supo operates the Steadicam, which is a stabilised camera rig that is used on the side of the field. Operating this specialised camera has earned him an unusual nickname. It has that attraction to people. People love Steadicam. People see it as a Robocop, they call me Robocop because of the harness that I'm wearing. It's, it's, it's quite different to any other cameras. It's a tripe, it's a human tripod. So the staticness of the camera, it's amazing. You run with the camera, but there's less shade. You, 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 360, you, you have shots like your 360 shots, your, your low mode, your high mode. So it, it's, you become a tripod of, 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 of of a, of a mechanism, so it, 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 it quite enhances the production. Especially like Sipo's favorite shot to get. Yeah, There's quite a number of shots that I, I learned myself, I practiced. One of the, body the body shots is a 360 shot. You know, it's when the player is going out of the field or coming into the field and you rotate him 360, you show the ultra of, 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 of the stadium. Although Andrew is now a seasoned professional, he still gets a thrill from working in live television. You know, nobody wants to miss anything or make a mistake, especially as it's live TV. So you always have those butterflies and, um, you know, but it's, it's, it's awesome. You know, I get to watch cricket all day long and uh, also hopefully provide the viewers with, like, um, some excellent footage and nice slow-mo replays, you know. Hailing from Soweto, Sipo grew up playing soccer, but since working on cricket, he has fallen in love with the sport. As you do cricket, like we do cricket three months of the year, so we, we, we understand the term, we leave cricket, you know, and I, I have the love uh, for cricket, and uh, I'm hoping one day I'll work out of the country, maybe I'll work in India or work in Australia, but following cricket, you know, that's, that's the love for cricket. Andrew loves the sport too, and he has been fortunate to work on cricket in other countries. You know, cricket has given me an opportunity to travel to, to various countries around the world. You know, it's awesome to go to, to another country and, and see their passion for the sport, um, especially in India, the West Indies. You know, the first time I went to India, it was in 2004, and I arrived at the stadium and uh, put on my, my headsets and was just just drowned by screaming fans, like thousands of screaming fans, and I must admit it was quite daunting, you know. And, and that's that was just for like a forward defensive, you know. So it's 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 awesome, uh, you know, going to India and seeing the culture, meeting people, eating the the food, even surfing, you know. I probably would never have been to a lot of places that that I have been to and had the opportunity to go to if it wasn't for for cricket. Outside broadcast camera operators who get to work on cricket are present during some of the most historic and memorable moments the sport has to offer. For Andrew, there are many highlights, 
but a few stand out, such as the greatest ODI ever played between South Africa and Australia at the Wanderers in March 2006. After Oz scored that massive total, the South African cameramen were all pretty uh, depressed and thinking, oh, jeez, we're getting annihilated here, that, um, you know, we're so down at lunch. And then um, we actually got back to our camera a few balls later. And, you know, I shouldn't really be saying that, but <laughs> that's how demotivated we were. And then all of a sudden it, it just started happening, you know, and it was, it was amazing. I was um, working here when, when Dale Stain first started bowling. We checked how fast this young guy was. Um, yeah, I've been through quite a lot of the, the players' like moments, like uh, with Makai Antini uh, retiring. I was there at that game. Uh, Sean Pollock, uh, Jacques Callas when he played his last game here at Kingsmead. So I've been through a lot of their milestones, you know, and uh, obviously behind the lens. But um, it's yeah, it's been amazing. That's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and remember to tune in next time for all things cricket on Extra Cover. Goodbye.